We want to be the first to tell you about good news for your heart on this Valentine's Day. The University of Rochester Medical Center is leading the way with a new device that automatically lowers extremely high blood pressure to normal levels. Medical reporter Robin DeWin shows us how. Okay. Anthony Congoli had his kidney removed after being diagnosed with cancer. His blood pressure immediately spiked. It was immediate. I mean, like within a couple of weeks I started to have issues and then they started me on one medicine and then now I'm on about six blood pressure medicines. They really don't even work. Anthony is part of a unique study started at the U of R Medical Center three years ago, testing an implantable device that will help lower his dangerously high blood pressure. U of R Medical Center vascular surgeon Dr. Carl Illig is now enrolling people for the second phase of this groundbreaking study. I helped out with a patient in Alabama a little while ago, and the day after surgery, they took a pressure from 210 down to 102. So we can drop it 60, 70, 100 millimeters under the right circumstances. The device is like a mini pacemaker, but instead of regulating heart rhythm, it will trick Anthony's brain into lowering blood pressure. It stimulates the carotid arteries in the neck. Those arteries carry blood to the brain. But they also regulate blood pressure. The leads go underneath the skin into the pacemaker-like device that's in the chest wall. Dr. Illig says if this proves to be a successful option, it could be used for a variety of medical conditions. People with uh, uh, various sleep disturbances, preeclampsia in pregnancy, uh, aortic dissection, there's a lot of potential areas that this could be applied to. Anthony hopes it will help him or his children one day. I'm here, maybe not for myself, yes, if it works on me, if it's just tested on me, but if my children get it in the end, it's worth it. Nineteen centers are now taking part in this study, and the U of R was the first in the country. And if this proves to be successful, which it's going that way, it could be used on people who are not as ill but still have extremely elevated blood pressure. Medical reporter Robin DeWind, News 10 NBC. Fascinating stuff. Definitely. Well, the owners of the rhinos are being sued again. We have details.